For the past 30 years, the Earth has been at the core of Think Round Inc.'s initiatives. On this 50th celebration of Earth Day, we would like to share an overview of our achievements, current status, and our plans for the next 30 years. Think Round's mission is to demonstrate life's fullest potential through the arts and sciences, especially where environmental concerns meet neighborhoods and families. For the past several decades, our children's mural program has been teaching that the Earth is unique among the planets in our solar system. Earth is constantly regenerating and changing. How? Earth has an inner core of solid lead and nickel, an outer core made of molten lead and nickel, and a very large mantle on top, the Earth's crust made up of plates. The plates move because of the molten rock rolling underneath them. So sometimes we feel earthquakes when the plates move quickly. When molten rock breaks through the crust, volcanoes erupt and islands form. The earth has the right combination of sunlight, water, nitrogen and oxygen to support life. Until recently, the Earth was the only place in the universe that we knew of that supports life. An estimated 8.7 million species live on our planet. 1.6 million are animals and 2.6 million are plants and other living things. Earth and all living things that call her home are precious, need to be revered, protected, and cared for. On Earth Day, we celebrate our precious blue planet. But how much do we care about the condition of the well-being of the air, water, and soil, the plants, animals, and people in the world? During the lockdown of the global pandemic, nature has returned to cities. The air is cleaner. The water is clearer. Animals are venturing into human areas. The transformation is so dramatic and has happened so quickly. Children in major cities around the globe got their first glimpse of the buildings, and yes, even their first glimpse of blue skies and mountains in the distance. They didn't know were there. Many humans are, for the first time, seeing the magnificent Milky Way. The COVID pandemic has also given us a glimpse into the lives of the many damaged adults who are suffering from the impact of their unaddressed, often drug and alcohol medicated childhood trauma. They carry the legacy of the family illnesses of alcoholism, drug addiction, domestic violence, and abuse. 24 million reports pop up on Google in 0.2 seconds from cities and towns across the globe about the rise in domestic violence since the stay-at-home orders began. The silver lining in these dreadful reports is that we can ask these parents to seek help through our trauma resolution program, Turning the Tide of Trauma. It's a peer-to-peer -peer program that is non-medical, non-diagnosing, non-religious, confidential, and free of charge. We are offering the program online via Zoom while we are all asked to shelter in place. Scientists all over the world are reporting the remarkable improvement of the air quality since the global shutdown, the purpose of which was to mitigate the impact of the virus. We have coincidentally mitigated the impact of the human carbon footprint. New York Times science and environment reporter Jim Robbins has been studying the link between epidemics and human interactions with the natural world and says we are defying Mother Nature with deforestation and other harmful acts to the environment. He wrote in an article called Destroying Nature Unleashes Infectious Diseases. We have been defying the rules of Mother Nature and you can only do this so long before it's payback time. What can we do to restore the balance in nature? Mr. Robbins calls for early childhood education about the basics of environmental interactions. He says fundamental ecological literacy should be taught in every school because these ecosystems sustain us. 
Did we know this could happen? Mr. Robbins says, it's been known for a long time. We have known it was coming. People have been waving their hands. People are not paying attention. Protect the earth from our overcrowding, international travel, deforestation, and other causes of global warming. We at Think Round will continue our good work, and we pray humanity will band together to sustain the benefits of reimagining our travel, our social connections, our consumption, our global connections, and the way we conduct business and thus demonstrate our ability to respond to Earth's demand to protect her air, water, and soil, her plants, animals, and people. Our twin visions are to complete the Paradise Project and to build the Center for the Human Family to house it. At this beautiful venue, we will address the needs of the planet and her plants, animals, and people through our innovative, proven programs and projects. The fundamental environmental literacy needed to help Mother Nature is what Think Realm does best. We've done it for decades, and we look forward to doing it for decades more.